Hello. I'm delighted to welcome Susanna Fairbairn back to St Andrews and Concerts in Caversham to perform for us today. I have known Susanna for many years, as some time ago now, I taught her the piano on the Buckinghamshire Scholarship Scheme, and I've followed her progress from pianist to flautist to singer with great interest. On leaving Oxford, she continued her singing studies at Trinity College and the Wales International Academy of Voice. During the pandemic, she has had to move around rather a lot, and that has included time living and traveling on a narrow boat around the canals of Britain. However, she is back in London now to resume her singing career as things begin to open up, and that includes an upcoming tour of Don Giovanni with Diva Opera singing the role of Donna Alvira. She will introduce all the songs as we go along. Thank you. Give to me the life I love. Let the live go by me. Give the jolly hand.
You may be wondering why I'm wearing this outdoor piece of clothing um, to sing a recital. Well, um, I thought it'd be apt to start today with uh, my barber on, because that's how I travelled the waterways of Great Britain, as Adrienne said last year in the summer. Um, I had a great time um, navigating the canals of England on my narrowboat, and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to sing some beautiful music that's a lot to do with water, um, but also then kind of gives us the opportunity to sing about other themes that we've all been encountering and dealing with in the last year, particularly, um, particularly about loss and grief, and um, because water has that amazing way of, of taking those things with it as it flows. So I hope you enjoy our programme today. I started off with uh, Vaughan Williams's um, the first song in his um, so song cycle, The Songs of Travel. I thought that was very apt for this travelling programme. And I'm also delighted to sing it because um, it's very much a, in the realm of uh, gentlemen. <laughs> Men get to sing this, this cycle a lot. I don't think I've ever heard a woman sing it before. Um, but today I just felt like it was... I felt like I'd earned it because... Um, I feel like the song talks a lot about strength and the sort of the romantic, let's face it, the romantic side of being a, a traveller, a vagabond. And I did feel like I encompassed, in fact, I challenged a lot of people last year um, when they would stop me on my boat and say, what, there's no one else with you? You're just navigating by yourself, are you? You know, this 50-foot narrow boat, this huge hunk of steel. Um, and I said, yes, yes, I'm by myself. So um, let's take away the, the strength that can often be a very gendered thing and let's just say... I wanted to start off the programme with a nice kind of travelling number, and uh, I think I can take this off now for our next, next items. We've got a load of quilters for you, um, and um, I'm going to sing um, quilter settings of poems by Tennyson, Shelley, and that famous uh, writer, Anon. Um, and um, we will, yeah, we will, we will kick off our programme with, with quilter, and I um, hope you enjoy the rest of the programme.
So after exploring all that beautiful natural imagery, which Quilter sums up so beautifully in his writing, um, we're going to move on to one of my favourite composers, Benjamin Britten. Um, and he's another one that's amazing at capturing English nature, but particularly the sea. So we're going to move to that other sort of water now. We're going to move to the seaside for Seascape, which is from his cycle on this island. Um, it's one of my favourite pieces because it's just amazing how he just... You can absolutely hear the waves rolling through this piece and see the images, I think, as, as they flash past in, in Auden's poem. Um, and then, secondarily, I'm going to sing um, the embroidery aria from Peter Grimes, um, which is an opera very much, again, based by the sea. And um, in it, the character Ellen Orford is describing how she's just found all the, the jersey of the apprentice of Peter Grimes that sadly has died. Um, she's found, the, the jersey has been found, and she recognises that it's his because there's some embroidery on there that she did. And so the, Britain just weaves this magical line of, it really does feel like thread, the way you have to sing it and spin it all the way through. And um, so I hope you enjoy these next two pieces, which are moving to the seaside. Stranger to this island now The lake and light for your delight discovers Stand still Oh, oh, oh. 
So we come back from the seaside now, um, and having sung the embroidery aria from Peter Grimes, um, and that's something I would very much like to sing in the future, fingers crossed, when opera comes back, um, I'm going to take a little trip down memory lane now, if you'd indulge me. I'm going to sing an aria that Galatea sings in Aces and Galatea, Handel's famous piece, um, when she's just lost her love, Aces. And she says that um, instead of him just being dead, she's going to transform him into a fountain so that he will run uh, along the plains forevermore and, and murmur her name. And it's a beautiful moment in the opera. I hope you enjoy it. Um, there are some extracts, I believe still on YouTube and certainly on my website, of me singing some of these arias from that particular um, production I'm talking about, uh, where I toured around Ireland um, with, as, an, as a barmaid, um, this, this was set in an Irish pub, this particular, particular production, and it was great fun to do, absolutely amazing, and um, so if you want to see any more of those other arias from that, um, please do check out my website.
Thank you so much for listening to our recital today. Um, I'd like to finish with one more little item um, suggested by Adrienne. It's a favourite of hers. I've never done it before, but I love it, and I've always wanted to, so thank you for giving me the opportunity. Um, at some point, everybody has to leave the boat and go to the pub. Sit down, come. The wind 